Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another exciting episode of CSK News. And first off, I do want to thank all of you guys who actually liked my last video. That was my birthday video and you guys smashed the like button and the comment section. Seriously, thank you all for the birthday wishes, guys. It was an amazing birthday and I am so glad to be back with some amazing stories today. The first of which I do want to say, why Mojo? Why? Does he upload videos like this? I want to show you guys and actually share this with you for two separate reasons. One of them being kind of good, one of them being kind of bad. So first of all, why Mojo? A clear depiction of clickbait, which I do want to go into. But first off, let's discuss the title and the thumbnail. I'll reshow the thumbnail on screen for all of you. If you guys do not know, that of course is Mojo and Giuliano, formerly of Team Secret. She's one of your better female pro players out there. Team Secret, they for she formerly played for. It was probably your top two female CSGO team in the world. And and now X Team Secret is actually on their own, playing for their own organization as they wait to be signed in the future. Now, going off of that though, I can tell you guys, I actually watched a majority of the video and it was a great video. It was actually a vlog. Not many CSGO YouTubers out there are actually going to events, meeting fans, meeting other YouTubers and pro players and actually vlogging it. So it was a great video. It had no need for the clickbait, but it did get me watching it and it was actually a very good video itself. But besides that, a clear clickbait, the title saying, who is best in bed, showing Mojo and Giuliano and I guess it's not really a, a title clickbait because they did actually discuss who was best in bed and here was their response. Who has AIDS? I have everything. Who's the best in bed? <laughs> But it was kind of a thumbnail clickbait because watching the majority of the video, you clearly can say, or I can say to a 99% certainty, maybe I'm wrong here, maybe I missed the slim second it was shown, but I can tell you guys very clearly that on the screen, Juliana was not ever wearing that kind of apparel in the video itself. But nonetheless, a great video, and I want to use this channel for good, not for like negativity. So I will show you guys a tweet on screen and link it down below. And here's the overarching question, guys. I'm going to reach out to Mojo and have you guys help me out. Please like and retweet that tweet if you guys want to find out the truth as well. Our Mojo and pro player, female pro player, Giuliano, dating. And other CSGO news guys out there involving Refresh Entertainment. If you guys do not know who Refresh Entertainment is, they are the owners of Astralis. And we actually, some new information came out this past week, brought to us by Richard Lewis. I will link his full videos down below, just in case you guys want to know the full details. I'll give it, keep it brief for all of you. Refresh Entertainment has come out recently. They have partial ownership in several and actually multiple CSGO teams out there, exposed by Richard Lewis, and they even denied the fact of that. So kind of a, a big controversy there, especially because because Refresh Entertainment just recently actually earned themselves over $7 million, I think it was actually closer to $8 million, to host their own events, which of course could create controversy if they own several teams. As of right now, Richard came out and said they have partial ownership in Astralis alongside Heroic, both those being Danish teams, possibly even Godsent under their wing, which of course would be a flaw in the system because if they're to host their own events and to have you know favorable invites for, that, for their own teams, that could be a bit of a controversy if you're inviting your own teams over other good teams out there, especially the way Godsend's been performing lately. Uh, Heroic, you know, one of your better Danish teams still, but it could create conflict in the future. Now, Richard Lewis, we've also talked about this in the past with ES Force. ES Force partially having ownership in two teams as well, being Virtus Pro and SK Gaming, but it seems nothing is being done about this. Now, in other esports out there, it is against the rules by a landslide. In other, in other sports out there, NFL, NBA, uh, you know, MLB, it's against the rules. So how are they getting away with this? Well, I really can't tell you guys. I don't know the legalities behind it, but yes, as of right now, it seems ES Force, they have partial ownership in SK and Virtus Pro. They also have some management in Na'Vi, not in any ownership as of right now that we know about. And now Refresh Entertainment has two Danish teams under their wing, at least for now, Astralis and Heroic. So what does that mean for the future? I don't think there's going to be any conflicts that are very noticeable. I really have no big issue with this as of right now, but all it takes is one mishap, one mistake and this could be a big problem. And big shouts to my man Beaver Boy who actually kept me updated on this story. Thank you Beaver Boy for actually doing this for me. Now many, many, many weeks ago, you guys remember, I did call out the fake Stannis Law account. A long time ago, if you actually used to go Google Stannis Law on Steam or Google Stannis Law Steam on Google, kind of confusing there, you would actually have this profile pop up first and it was a fake Stannis Law account who has scammed tens and tens of people. He had also botted comments on his profile, had also added many real pro players and really many fake pro players on his friends list making you very believable that he actually was the real Stannis Law. Now, Stannis Law, being one of your better North American IGLs, bouncing from Optic to Liquid, he had a lot of fans out there, so we can imagine this guy probably got away with scamming quite a few people, but finally, we actually had so many people report him, his profile has been privated, and we actually had two successes, guys, first of which, Beaver Boy, one of my viewers out there, made me aware of, he has now officially been VAC banned. Now, why he was VAC banned, I have no idea, but at least this will stop some people out there and make them think, wait, the real Stannis Law isn't VAC 
back bend. Maybe this uh, this fake Santa's Law was trying to have his rank be higher so people would believe it was the real him. That's what uh, we came up with. But that and other reasons we really don't know why. So he has now been back bend, and on top of that, an even bigger victory, guys. Now when you Google, when you go onto Google and search up Stanislaw Law Steam, the real Stanislaw Law pops up in the first search link, and I am so happy about that. The fake one is still the second one, but just be aware, guys. The Steam community ID Stanislaw Law CSGO is a fake Stanislaw. Law. So congrats on the success, guys. Thank you to all of you who helped report that account. I will link the fake profile down below if you guys want to continue to report this guy and hopefully get him banned off Steam for good. And in kind of a more sad story out there, I don't know if you guys know casters that well. Mega Man is one of the casters I, I very seldomly listen to, but when I did, he did a very good job. He did post this on Twitter just yesterday or about 20 hours ago, saying a kind of a very sad post because he will be taking a break from casting CSGO for two separate reasons. These reasons are, are kind of hard to talk about, the first of which his father is actually battling with cancer, and his second is his personal battles with severe depression. So not a very funny story at all, guys. Not a very lighthearted story. So best of luck to you, Mega Man, if you are somehow watching this dude. Uh, you know, best of luck coming back in the sometime near future. He said he's going to take a break for himself, guys, and kind of take some time for himself, but he should be back. Whether it's going to be in the near future or far future, he is not quitting casting, but he will be back sometime soon. Now, bouncing off that to a more lighthearted story, guys, we have the PGL Major going on right now. A lot of you guys asking me advice for your stickers. I really can't tell you guys. People asking me, Jake, should I sell my foil? Should I keep my regular stickers? I cannot tell you. Each and every sticker is individually different. You know, we could have a market that grows for some stickers and shrinks for some. I would advise right now, though, you guys are probably right in the comment section, probably not the best time to buy stickers, guys. Wait until the last day of the major or after the major where they're 75% off. I would really advise for all of you guys out there trying to buy stickers and trying to invest, don't be dumb like me, don't buy them. But also, speaking of the PGL major going on right now, that's what I'm gonna be doing for the next couple days, guys. The PGL major started today, it goes on for the next couple days, and then we have a day break or two day break, and then the quarterfinals do start on the 21st, just five days from today. So I am so excited, it's such a great time to be alive. I love CSGO major week. It's like, I can just stay home and watch the major and they also have one of the best analyst desks. I actually tweeted this out about this. They have a hologram analyst desk. PGL is doing such a great job so far. No production problems on my end. At least I haven't, I've only had, only seen very, very seldom few so far. So what do you guys think about production so far? I think PGL is killing it. The hologram of the analyst desk has been amazing. It feels like I'm watching, you know, Star Trek or something crazy, but it's actually really cool and I'm really interested in it. As always though, hope you guys all enjoyed. I will see you all tomorrow with a very special story. And yes, it will involve Mick Skillet and his new site, CSGO Kingdom. So stay tuned for that guys. As always, live, love, laugh a lot. Please leave a comment down below. What you guys thought about today's episode. I will see you guys all tomorrow. Remember, I like you. My name is Jake. Goodbye.